What is going on guys, it's Knives here and today we're going to be reviewing this Mad Squirrel Aztec Mountain IPA. So this can is what caught my eye in Sainsbury's the other day, it looks really really cool. It's got the Mad Squirrel on the front with this kind of triangular, multicoloured, shiny pattern and a little demonic looking squirrel there. I thought the can was really cool, that's what drew me to it. It is a 6.2% IPA says the Aztecs were seen as superior and dominant in their native land. Mountain IPAs have the body of New England with the bitterness of a west coast, a medley of tropical and floral notes with aromatic tones of pine for an even for an ever so slightly bitter finish. Being single hopped with one of our favourites, Idaho 7, really makes this brew superior and will dominate your taste buds. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Granted the can looks really really cool but at 6.2% and on the back it says that it's strong flavoured it's not really what I go for. I tend to go for between about four, well, anywhere from zero to about 5.5 .5 is where I tend to teeter between. I don't mind going up to six or seven or even eight for like an Imperial style or something, maybe even like 12 sometimes they go up to. But yeah, I don't know if we'll like this or not. We've had a Mad Squirrel one before. I think it was in the Beer 52 box, can't remember which one it was, but I did like it. And as you can probably tell, my voice sounds scratchy as hell. So we're gonna crack this open and take a drink. That, I think, if I do say so myself, was a beautiful pour. Proud of that one. <laughs> Smells tropical. Fruity. It says tropical and floral notes on the can. I'm definitely picking up on the tropical. And I think that's overpowering the floral notes, but I'm alright with that personally. Maybe mango if I had to pick out a, a scent. Or pineapple, maybe. Anyway, the head's dissipating now, so cheers. On the whole, it's not very standout. It's not very unique. It tastes like a lot of other ones before. What comes to mind is... My throat made such a weird noise then. It, what comes to mind when I drink that is the Stegosaurus from, I can't remember which brewery it was, and also the Capo from Flowerhorn. That one I really enjoyed, so I would prefer the, the Capo from Flowerhorn over this Aztec Mountain IPA from Mad Squirrel, but to me, this tastes like just a stronger version of an everyday run-of-the-mill IPA. I like that it's combining West Coast and New England because those two are the types of IPA that I tend to go for. The body is almost thick, almost smoothie-like. Yeah, it's thick, but not quite to the point of the milkshake or smoothie type beers. For me, it's a little bit too much. All the flavors are there and they're all done well, but it's a little bit too intense for my palate in particular. Any IPA lover would probably like this. It's very, very standard. Like I've said a million times, it's nothing stand out. It's just a stronger version. I think if I was gonna go out and they had this and something else on the menu, I'd try this one and then I'd pick the other thing. I might go back to this one and have two, but it's definitely not a sessional beer. Can't even say sessionable. Session is definitely not a sessionable beer for me. I would give the Aztec Mountain IPA from Mad Squirrel a seven out of 10. Decent, definitely not bad. I can't knock it into the negatives, but I can't give it a higher rating because it's just simply a little bit too much for me. If you like your flavors stronger, if you like your alcohol percentage a little bit higher, if you like haze and fruit and a little bit of bitterness, not getting much pine through, which personally for me is good. I, I don't mind the pine, but I don't love it. So that's another win for me. Um, yeah, but it's fruity, it's strong, it's hazy, it's thick. It's not bad, it's just a seven. So if you like this video, leave me a comment. If you've tried the Aztec Mountain IPA from Mad Squirrel, also leave me a comment, tell me how you found it. Subscribe for more videos, peace.